evening. My name is Alexander Hagen. I'm the CEO of a small, medium-sized tech company. And tonight I want to talk to you about uh, the uh, popular perception that Ron Paul is unfairly using the arcane delegate selection procedures, which is newspeak for voting for delegates, to manipulate uh, and unfairly obtain an advantage, which is quite ludicrous when you think of the vast advantage that Romney has and that uh, as an underdog with vastly less resources but a very active, vigilant, aroused, energized base, uh, Paul is simply doing uh, what he can to uh, build their movement. And when people say he should drop out, uh, what of the uh, third party option? Um, so if you look at uh, polls recently of third party options, uh, Paul scores pretty close to 20 percent, uh, 17 perhaps, and if, they, uh, if he can hit 20, there's no reason why they would keep him out of debates. Uh, of course they will anyway. Um, and as a result, uh, he would broaden his appeal most likely depending on how well Obama is able to uh, outmaneuver him verbally, um, but uh, it can be difficult to evade constantly the truth with talking points, the truth that our country is sinking under the weight of incorrectly directed spending that's highly uh, deficit driven and there's very little good evidence to show that any country is going to be able to grow economically with this kind of burden. Um, so what we have to do, if I may make an aside, is we have to shift the military uh, homeland security, prison, and war on drugs, war on terror systems over to civilian production and beat these swords into plowshares. <clears throat> uh, so um, the actual fact is that Ron Paul supporters are being physically attacked, harassed, having conventions shut down, having their lights turned off during conventions. Um, uh, and state after state, in fact, I compiled a list of articles and what I came up with so far as a color code, these are the states I've been able to really quickly find uh, bad things happening in that are really um, unfair to the Paul campaign. So today, of course, we have this issue in Louisiana, which I will try to uh, produce for you right now. Okay, so this is a guy um, in Florida, who was beaten by the Gingrich campaign. And then I'll just briefly segment for Eddie you. Eddie Dillard is here. Word. And um, gave me the perfect opportunity to um, hold my Ron Paul sign <laughs> right behind his head um, in front of all the cameras. Perfect. This is Gingrich awesome. just coming in. So uh, then what happened? So um, he, at, at the time, there was one security guard behind him who was telling me to move and now, what, what right does he have to tell you to move? Well, none, and that's why I told him I wouldn't move, and I was there first. Good. Um, so after he, you know, continually, you know, harassed me and told me that if my sign was to touch the speaker or his wife, or his wife we'd have big problems. <laughs> the sign was you're going to assault them. Yeah, I'm going to beat you with this plastic sign. Well, you know. Um, so I, I told him, I said, you know, tell your guys to quit pushing me and, you know, quit knocking the sign out, trying to knock the sign out of my hand, and um, it won't touch the speaker or his wife. Um, he didn't like that idea too much. So you get the point. It's uh, segment one of two uh, about a man getting his foot broken by Gingrich security for daring to hold a Ron Paul sign up. Um, this is just, uh, this is a Gingrich incident in Florida. So, um, so here's a typical article. Unruly behavior, CB the rule of the day as non delegates attempted to the crash conventions, usurp the authority of the chairs and instigate battles over which delegates get selected to the district and state conventions. Uh, one Ron Paul supporter went so far as to threaten a lawsuit against the state county GOP. Um, and um, so this is a kind of strident tone taken against him, whereas in fact, let's take a look here. <clears throat> and I would like to make one more brief aside, which is. Uh, when you read these, it really strongly reminds you of uh, brown shirts, Hitler's brown shirts, not because everything devolves back to Hitler, but at least with the Bolsheviks, they had a coherent philosophy that wasn't based on uh, being bigoted, uh, 
uh, racist, com uh, you know, uh, versus uh, the Nazis. And the Nazis uh, use this sort of coercion and threat against the, um, uh, from their political class in the parliament. They would beat people up and so forth. And um, so there was even a commotion about Rick Perry uh, laying his arm, uh, grabbing Ron Paul's arm at a convention, a lot of speculation about whether that was physically intimidating. That was, um, as I said, Rick Perry. So we go through these. Here's an Oklahoma State Convention assault report. Um, and these all have evidence, as I'll try to show you. Here's a guy who's got his fingers broken yesterday. Uh, and this was the elected chairman of the uh, caucus. Um, there's the clip lead into the Rick Perry assault. In Massachusetts, uh, they tried to uh, disenfranchise and strip the Ron Paul delegates. Um, and they're basically trying to change the rules after the election to rewrite history. And they're doing it pretty efficiently in a lot of places. Massachusetts, they're partly uh, uh, successful. There's a uh, fraud incident. Now, when I say alleged fraud and so forth, um, I've studied these things. And uh, I can't vouch for every single example, but there's like five or six different sources, uh, local re uh, journalists. I'm not just pulling stuff off of the web. I'm familiar with each of these cases. I just want to put this together for tonight. We all know in Maine there were severe problems with disenfranchisement. As they closed two counties um, that were rumored to be uh, fielding strong Paul uh, uh, delegations, um, uh, and didn't even count their votes, and there was many other irregularities. Uh, counties reporting in zero Paul votes, where he would have been at the physical uh, 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 meeting, or there might have been, you know, eighty or ninety voters in the county. So recalling the calls were different from what was reported by the Central Committee. Lots of irregular irregularities there. Here's the uh, issue about the GOP threatening Nevada after Nevada had already had a severe Paul voter intimidation attack in 2008 where they were literally checked out of the campaign, checked out of the convention. Uh, they were arrested in Missouri as well as assaulted uh, in the chaos there. Um, let's see if any of these actually shows the assault in Missouri. Uh, here it is again. Police arrest Paul backers in Missouri. Um, this is in Nevada, and in Washington it was pretty uh, crummy too. They threw them out and shut the lights off. And this is just a brief sampling. Uh, so what I would like to show you briefly, uh, let's see here now. Um, let's see. Now here's the, uh, I had a hard time finding this business about Alaska. Paul delegates who had given uh, given weeks and months of lives to get elected as delegates to precinct county were scandalized. Okay, let's see. They play fast and the rules. Let's see if I can find this. He's dealing with the issue of Paul delegates uh, right right taking shot from Missouri. They tried to convene outside the venue in the parking lot. This is in Washington, claiming a plural plurality and calling do things in order. Was it too late? Challenges will surely follow. So this is Doug Weed's site. Um, Ron Paul stuns in Arizona upset win as game changer. Okay, and then here's the business here. In August, Mitt Romney will more than likely be the Republican candidate for the general election, but Ron Paul supporters flooded the convention floor and became the majority, electing their own delegates to send to Tampa for the national convention. It's about all of us. It's about Ron Paul. It's about liberty. It's about the Constitution. There were also high tensions prior to the beginning of the convention after voting rules were changed by the state Republican Party to protect delegates previously won by Romney and Rick Santorum during Louisiana's presidential primary last year. And those tensions came to a climax when Henry Herford, a newly appointed committee chairman by the Ron Paul majority, was taken to the ground by Shreveport police. This is amateur video taken during the incident. In it, you can hear Herford screaming he has a physical handicap and claims he suffered injury during the altercation. Herford was arrested by off-duty police officers providing security after a spokesperson with police in Shreveport say he refused to exit the building. So, 
Um, the, the word about this man is he was taken to the hospital and got two fingers broken. Um, and then you can see there's more of these articles about this, uh, the assault. Uh, let's see here. So I'm afraid that's all I have for you tonight. Uh, so um, this is serious. It's a travesty against our democracy. But uh, that's going to have to wrap it for now. Good night and good luck.